exactly the same in essence except some minor recipe differences. So I've made my dough ahead of time here, shaped it into a ball and let it relax a little bit. That's gonna make it just a little bit easier to work. A little bit of flour on my surface, I'll take a big knife here, cut a cross cut into my rounded ball of dough and fold out the corners just like that. So that gives me a square by hand now for the demo. Uh, of course if you do uh, use a larger piece of dough and if you have a dough sheeter available to you, you might want to use a dough sheeter. It surely makes your life much easier that way. Now, it depends again on the size of the dough. Um, this is going to be rolled out inches long here. About 16, 18 inches long and about 8 inches or so wide. Always want to make sure the corners are nice and square as well. This accuracy is paramount for this exercise here. For lamination, so that your lamination after in the oven will work nicely. Here I got my butter sheet which I prepared and chilled in the fridge for a little bit. I don't want the butter to be too hard, it should be fairly pliable. And the size of the butter sheet should be about two thirds of the size of the dough. So if you line this up here, Areas tight, tidy, neat, organized. I got my butter in here. I flip my bottom half, or third, I should say, up onto the middle of the butter sheet. Just like that. With my hand, just crease it a little bit. That makes it easier to flip it the other way around. So I'm gonna turn this around for you to see it better. And now I'm gonna take this part and flip it on top of it. So what I've created here. I enveloped two layers of butter into this piece of dough. Square this out a little bit, squash it a bit. So this is my lock-in. This is called the English lock-in method, creating two layers of fat versus the French lock-in method, which would create only one layer of fat. This is crucial to know because we're gonna try to calculate how many layers of fat we're gonna get out of this. And if we don't have enough, the butter will be too thick and will run out and melt out during the baking process. So with, uh, with the English lock-in method, starting with two layers of fat, three laminations of single turns or trifolds, uh, we should end up with 54 layers of fat in our dough. So for our first lamination here or trifold. I take the dough and gently roll it out again. Try not to break up that butter in the middle or squish it out of the sides. Again try to make sure my dough is nice and square, my corners are square. I roll this out to about a third of an inch or about eight, in, eight millimeters. Again, if you have a larger piece, 
you can go a little thicker, you can go just about a half inch or 10 millimeters thereabout. So, there. I think this is good. And I repeat the same folding exercise as I did with the lock in. So, fold up one third into the middle up here. And just for your better view here, fold the other third on top of that. So, this is my first. Trifold. I mark this with a finger mark uh, indent here, like this. Just push it in. That indicates I've done one turn so far. I'm going to repeat this process two more times so that it will end up with three single turns and my dough will be ready for use, roll out for my croissants or danishes or whatever I choose to make with that. Uh, between each lamination you want to let the dough rest for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes. That depends a little bit on how warm the dough has gotten and so on. But in this case, we'll let this rest for about 20 minutes before we give it the second turn and then consequently the third turn. So we talked a little bit about uh, layering, how many layers we're going to get. We started up with two layers of fat after our lock-in. After our first turn, those two layers with the trifold uh, will create six layers of fat. After our second turn or second trifold, those six layers are now multiplied by three, turning into 18 layers. And of course, on our third layer or third trifold, those 18 layers become 54 layers again, multiplied by three. So this dough I've made earlier on, I'm going to cut this in half to show you a cross cut and in this cross cut we can clearly see the multiple layers of fat that we have created. If you have some good eyes, very good eyes there, you can easily count the layering uh, of the fat there and that will then help to rise our bake it when we bake it. And with this, uh, we conclude our video here of our, uh, for our, of our demonstration of lamination of croissant doughs and Danish doughs. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again. I saw a wonderful land with my girl I down with a beautiful name I'm